The offensive line is a heart of uh, any football team. Every successful football team I've been around has kind of started with the offensive line. When we took this job and, and uh, one of the main things, we wanted to figure out how we were going to develop that chemistry that it takes to be successful. Uh, and we knew we had to get that chemistry going early in the offensive line. You want guys who uh, understand and trust that, uh, you know, a guy's going to be in the right position, a guy's going right, to make the right call, uh, you know, that a guy's playing equally as hard uh, as you are. Offensive line's like the, really the, the strength of uh, the team, I think. You know, um, it's the closest group. True friendship on there, you know, and the offensive line's really going to help on the field. That's something I think we have. You can't just have that bond on the field. It has to be off the field, too, because, you know, we're, you, you're not just always playing football. We emphasize just being best friends and, you know, just loving one another. Those guys are as tight a group uh, of offensive linemen as I've been around. Just careful preparation and approach into trying to really mold these guys into becoming a cohesive unit, guys who depend on one another, guys who enjoy each other's company. And it's probably one of the most gratifying parts of my job is watching these guys grow as people, watching these guys really start believing in the process, believing in the things we're asking them to do, and then it translating out on the field. It, it's kind of a cliche, you know, the O-line's kind of a brotherhood, but it's, it's absolutely true. Goofy, you have a good time, you know, uh, we eat a lot. Um, you know, we, we have a lot of fun together, though. We eat together a lot. Probably right. Yeah. Going to wing night and eating food together and just doing what we do. We'll have good little team meals and just eat tons of food. And that, that's all probably our favorite thing to do. You're always going to have setbacks. It's, I mean, that's just the nature of the game. And you just got to get through it. Those guys will never feel 100% ever again in their lives because their bodies get beat up from what they do uh, in the trenches. So they have to be physically and mentally tough. So having great teammates, guys who encourage each other and depend on each other uh, is, is, is very important. We all support each other, you know, everyone's going to get hurt, everyone's going to have a different story, a different background, and uh, no, I think we all realize that we are a unit and we all need each other. You just have to overcome that adversity and we've all looked to each other and just really had to make sure that we stick it through. You never want to see a teammate go down and have to go through that process of, you know, a hard recovery, you're not playing. That's, that's been tough, you know, and it's kind of more so off the field is reassuring them, you know, it's okay, you know, you're, we're here for you, you know, you just got to keep getting better. The mental side of a, an injury is probably the biggest part, and um, I always know my boys got my back, you know. Like, even if you just give someone a hug, you know, because you know they got you. I think Coach Davis, I think Austin would agree, has really made us buy into that that much more. And he's made it fun. We have a, we have a lot of fun in meetings, you know, and uh, I think that's one of the, the big things to, to being successful. I mean, really, we're just a bunch of clowns. I mean, off the field, I mean, we, it's nonstop laughing whenever we're together. For the job requirement or job description for an offensive lineman to be a selfless football player, to be a guy that, you know, goes about his business every day, the, the physicality that's required, I think you have to have really tough kids. You have to be really, really thorough in your approach, your preparation, your study, how you prepare your body week in, week out. So it takes a certain kind of kid. You have to have a workmanlike attitude when you're an offensive lineman. You're not going to get your picture in the paper and you're not going to get glamour. So I think for us to perform well and the team perform well, we need to perform well as a group. Our limelight is when we, you know, we look at our, our yard totals. You know, that's something that we're looking forward to every week. It's just a matter of a mindset. You got to, you just got to love it. You know, we're not going to get the glory. We, we don't get the stats, but you get that win in the W column. I mean, that's, that's awesome. They're class acts. You know, they, they really value the opportunity they have here and, and, you know, they understand how to make the most of it. So, you know, I would take every one of these kids again in a heartbeat and go to battle with them.